Before we start today's video, we must go for the four universal gun rules. So a lot of ranges have their own specific rules. These are the four gun rules that you have to abide by no matter what. Number one, always treat every gun as if it's loaded, even if it's not loaded. What that means is don't point it at people, no matter what. Okay, be very. You have to be very, very careful. Treat every gun as if it's loaded. Two, always treat. Point your muzzle down a safe direction. Okay, always have a downrange. Point it at the ground, up in the air. Up in the air is usually for more like a, just like an outside only situation. But always keep it away from everyone. Always point it in a safe direction. Number three, keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to fire. And number four, know what is beyond your target. Okay, so if you're shooting at a target, know what's past the target because bullets go through things okay but let's go through so know it's beyond your target as well ladies and gentlemen welcome to today's video guys today this is gonna be my first time ever finally making some content on firearms this has been a hobby of mine for like the last two years and just over the two years i just went from a super beginner to like just loving everything and just buying a bunch of stuff now i'm still i just want to put this disclaimer out there i'm still a beginner okay so i still have a lot to learn in the firearm community however all the stuff that i own i've done a lot of research on before i bought it and i still do research after i buy it and like i also like just watch like other content like just for fun of it and you still learn from that too so i'm still learning but i do know a lot about my stuff but today i wanted to tell you guys what i think should be the very first gun that anyone, anyone should buy. If you're into guns at all, this gun is going to be the one for you. This is the Ruger 1022 right here. Now, so I will also want to do a quick disclaimer. This whole video is not going to be inside. We're going to be going outside and shooting this, but I have a much higher quality inside of my home. You guys will see that later, but this is the Ruger 1022. This is safe. And it's clear, so you guys don't have to worry about that at all. But this is the Ruger 1022, just the basic model, the cheapest model. And the reason why I say this should be just about everyone's first gun, or if not your first gun, everyone should own this, even if it's not your first one. Reason being is this gun is super cheap. It's the Ruger 1022. This gun has been around for, oh, I don't remember what year, but it, like 1970s, I believe early 1970s was the year that this came out. And it's basically still the same exact model that they made years ago. Like, it's still the same thing. This is perfect because it's a 22 rifle. So, not only is the gun itself really cheap, but it shoots 22 rounds. So, 22 long rifle. Today, we'll be shooting these. These Aguila 22 Super Extra. There we go. There we go. You can see them. We'll be shooting these today. And those are so cheap. Even right now, during all this craziness where ammo is very hard to come by these days, that 22 round is still cheap those are about that box right there comes to about six cents a shot after i bought it so it's just something you can't actually this one came to eight cents a shot i have other boxes that are about six cents a shot now like i said before we will be going outside and shooting this in my range in my own backyard it is super safe totally legit uh backyard range with targets and everything and the other like really important thing is the ammo does not ever leave my yard okay when it goes into the target it breaks if it misses the target it goes into my dirt berm and it gets stuck in there my goal for all of this is to start sharing my hobby this is something i've been really like kind of scared to do basically because so this youtube channel is my biggest passion this youtube channel gaming is my biggest passion and guns are my second biggest passion and guns for some reason have been put into like the political spectrum like everyone just makes it a political thing when it doesn't need to be this gun right here this 20 10 22 the reason why this gun is so perfect is so it shoots such light rounds that so this is like supposed to be a varmint gun okay i'm gonna do this again show you that it's clear no no ammo came out so there you go this is a varmint gun so what this means is if you had like a possum that you wanted to take out this is what you would use but what i use this for primarily is for plinking it's called plinking so basically what this does is it allows you to have the fun the uh, enjoy the hobby of shooting in your backyard at a target practicing like practicing because you should if you own a firearm you should always be training you should always be training because these are they're you know they're firearms so you don't want to be messing around with them and shooting 22 just makes it that like so cheap like like i said six cents a shot or eight cents a shot that is so cheap compared to 
like five five six rounds and nine millimeter rounds and all that especially right now during this pandemic i'm recording this this is august 5th 2021 so you know we're still still in this crazy pandemic the the ammo i believe prices should be coming down and speaking of that this i'm hoping will not be my last i'm hoping this will be my first of many firearm channel or firearm videos these are the mags that that 1022 comes with if you've never seen this is the base mag this is a 10 round mag this is loaded it's not inside the weapon though so you don't have to worry about that and then i also have two of these 25 round mags because they a lot more fun these things take a while to it's not like call of duty okay call of duty you just hit a button and you reload it in real life you actually have to load these yourself i think we had enough fun now let's go ahead and get outside before i do one more thing i just want to say if you guys are excited for this please like this video subscribe let me know because the more encouragement you guys can give me the more i know to make these videos but i know a lot of people have already told me that they really want to see this content so i'm really excited about this like i said this is my hobby i have some other firearms that i would love to share and also i have a lot of firearms that i want to buy a lot of accessories i want to buy and i want to learn myself all this stuff while also teaching you guys everything Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is the berm. Now, like I said, the quality is going to get a little bit worse out here. Sorry about that, but this is the berm. It's not huge, but it's my own personal berm. So it is big enough. It's about 40 feet wide. It's about six feet tall. Here's our main target. These are steel targets. I spray painted them white because every time you shoot them, you know, you can't remember where your shot is. This is a smaller target. And then this is just like a little homemade thing. I had extra wood lying around. And uh, when my wife comes out here, we fill these up, these bottles up with water. We put more bottles on there. So they can explode guys today we're gonna be rocking these earmuffs they these are really nice okay so having ear protection and eye protection is very important when shooting a firearm if you guys didn't know that you probably did these ones are really nice though sorry that my camera's shaking and sorry that it's windy but these ones are really nice because so not only do they make it so my ears are protected but they have a little microphone on each side and what that does is when you turn these headphones up they're just double a powered i can hear people talk but it cuts out the, the, the gunshots because so what happens is the shots are at such a high decibel that these are smart enough to cut off that high decibel, but make it so I can still hear people. So if people are at the range talking to me, I can still hear them through these headsets. Very nice. Would highly recommend these if you're into like going to the shooting range. So we got the 1022 out here. Remember once again, sorry guys that it's uh windy out here. This is still safe. There's still nothing, nothing in there. This is still safe to go. But one thing I really want you guys to notice, like I said, this gun is the best gun for everyone. Everyone should have this gun because the reason is this gun it has no recoil, basically. It's like the lightest gun in the world. So if you had anyone in your family or someone else's family, a friend, anyone that is scared of guns or just someone who seems like a little bit weaker, okay? You're not trying to offend them or anything, but if they're a little bit weaker, this would be the gun to have them shoot. I want you guys to notice the how little recoil I have when I shoot this. Now, unfortunately, I am a lefty, uh, unlike most people. So for me where the, the shell discharges, pops out towards me, but it's never that big of a deal. This is still safe, you guys don't have to worry about it. Let's go ahead and put our headphones on and put some shots downrange. Thank you guys for watching this video. Now, like I said in the beginning of the video, I have an AR-15 that I want to share with you guys. This is going to be our next video right here, okay? So this is uh, clearly safe. There's no no mag even in it. You know what I'm saying? We're good to go. This this bad boy is fully, fully safe. But this is my uh, Ruger AR-556. That's giving me a hard time because I'm holding it all weird. But it's safe. There we go. Now, that time you heard it. That time you heard it go. There we go. So this is my Ruger AR-556, my AR-15. This is a very base model, like a very cheap, cheaper in AR, but it does the job. It does the job for me. This would be the next video I'd love to share with you guys. The only thing I have on it is this Hollow Sun Sight, which is very nice, might I say. But in order for you guys to get this video right here, to watch this video, you guys just have to show a lot of love. A lot of love on this video because you guys have to let me know. Is that This is expensive to shoot, especially right now. In general, it's, I mean, it's still expensive, but it's manageable expensive, you know what I'm saying? 
but like right now the ammo for this is very very hard to find very expensive to shoot i do have some but i just need to make sure that you guys really want it so let me know like this video subscribe comment down below that you really want to see this ar-15 video and i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys enjoyed that ruger 10 22 i almost said the ruger ar now the ruger 10 22 video that we did today that was a lot of fun like i said though all the equipment i have to record audio and everything is a little low tier so i apologize for that so in the future like i said my plan is to get higher quality equipment because when i share my ar i want it to be the highest quality ever so it's going to probably be a little bit unless i can figure out how to get it sooner but otherwise thank you guys for watching today's video thank you guys for hanging out with me hope you guys have a good day god bless you all and goodbye